Hello, fellow educators. You're here with us at Educating. My name is Alicia Verwe. In case you're new, if you're not, welcome back. Our job here at Educating is to keep you on the cutting edge of education. Today, we're going to be doing just that. What's coming, what's new, and what's trending? We're going to give you the top five trends in ed tech for 2022. What are they and how are they going to impact your life? So, fellow educators, before we jump in, we have a few quick housekeeping items that we need for you to take care of for us. So, make sure and hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Please make sure and share this with your educator friends so that we can be sure everybody's sharing in the wealth of knowledge that we are giving you. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell because we want to make sure you're notified every single time we bring out a new video. That being said, we're going to jump in and get started. Okay, so number one on our list is... Artificial intelligence and machine learning are often we hear it referred to as AI. AI is probably by far number one on the list of ed tech trends for 2022. I have an entire article that you want to make sure and check out if this is of interest to you uh, that I just posted last week. It's five AI trends changing education in 2022. AI and machine learning technology solutions have been in the ed tech space for quite some time. So it isn't that they are new. The big trend is how rapidly the education industry is going to really be pushing the adoption of these programs, softwares, and solutions uh, during 2022. A lot of this has to do with the pandemic. The shift to digital learning, everybody needing a device, remote learning, and all the struggles that came with that, as you know, and we've previously talked about, really made that push in the education industry for a lot of these things that have been hanging around to finally really be embraced and adopted by the education industry. So that being said, there are going to be a lot of of AI and machine learning related uh, implementations. They're already happening at a drastic rate and you're going to continue to see them. So where are you going to see them? You're going to see it in everything from story time to security implementations. Uh, some of the biggies are going to be in your grading. Uh, we've already seen a lot of AI in grading and um, software programs that we're implementing in our classroom. One of the biggest advances with AI that's rolling out and is really being adopted rather quickly is that of grading for writing. This has always been a struggle for those ELA and writing teachers and help is on the way, guys. There's a lot of software programs rolling out that's going to help you grade uh, that writing for your students. In addition, you're going to see things like um, task assistant or digital assistant type stuff. You're familiar with these in your home. Uh, Amazon X, uh, sorry, Amazon Echo, Alexa devices, uh, Google devices. These devices are now being implemented in the classroom. Teachers are using them for task oriented things like Alexa, read the kids a story, this type of thing. These ideas really were stolen uh, to implement those it came from the parents during remote learning and distance learning uh, during the height of the pandemic. Obviously, parents were juggling work and trying to keep kids at home, and a lot of them were utilizing these devices for routine tasks. Teachers have since adopted a lot of that and are bringing these into the classroom. There are some great devices being adopted by districts um, that are helping teachers integrate all of the technology and do some of these routine um, tasks. So make sure and check out that article if this is something you're interested in. Uh, in addition, we're going to see AI show up in testing. We're going to see it in individualized learning and tutoring. Uh, options, and we're going to see it in coaching and professional development. So really make sure you take a look because AI is probably the broadest area of things we can talk about here. Um, and again, I just did an entire article, so check out the deets there. That, my friends, is how you're going to see AI impacting day-to-day. -day. 
All right, friends, so number two on our list is cloud networking and cloud computing. Now, I know much of this next one for number two is really pertaining to IT, and they're going to see more of the impact than you will as educators. However, I felt it important to mention um, to you as educators because of the simple fact that where you're going to be accessing data is going to change. I also think that it's important for you to know that with the shift to cloud uh, computing and cloud networking, you should see some increase in speeds of accessing that data. So um, it made it to number two because 44% of IT leaders are stating that they are planning to make this shift or have already made this shift um, in the application processing requirements to the cloud to lessen the impact. And so with that being such a large percentage, I really want you to keep in mind that you may see uh, some hiccups along the way as those transitions happen within your building if they haven't already done so. Uh, and I know that that can be frustrating as well, but just know that there's brighter days on the other side of that and it is going to improve a lot of things for you. It also makes it less likely for you to lose things that are going to be stored in the cloud and things like that. So backups will be a little bit more secure for you as well. Um, and again, the speed of accessing that is going to be awesome. So that being said, number two on our list is cloud networking and cloud computing. All right, so number three on our list today is the emphasis being placed on ed tech coaches. Now, I find this is really split across the U.S. in particular. Um, schools have either fully embraced this or have not embraced it at all. I really don't find many that are in that middle ground for ed tech coaches. Um, ed tech coaches are really becoming emphasized and districts that did not have them before are finding themselves uh, suddenly in a much greater need for them. Ed tech coaches are really being utilized to work with parents as much as they are being uh, utilized to work with students and with teachers. Obviously, this big push with the pandemic and the increase in ed tech within the buildings and outside of the buildings and the use of it and how we're using it has really heightened that need for that middle ground person to really be the, the bridge between the technology and the stakeholders. So you're really going to see a much greater push for ed tech coaches and how they're being utilized and really how important they're being viewed as being. So that is trend number three that you're going to see in the ed tech space within school districts and uh, classrooms. So finally going to get that help that you need in the classroom in helping you implement all the new technologies with your students. Hopefully your district is going to be one adopting ed tech coaches very soon if you don't already have them. If you have them, you may be excited to see that they may be adding more. So again, looking out for ed tech coaches. Number four on our list is security. Um, you may not be aware, but in October, President Biden signed the K-12 Cybersecurity Act. And this is obviously going to bring about a lot of changes. This is another area where obviously IT is going to be the top impacted area in education. However, uh, don't dismiss this as administrators and educators. Um, you're going to see changes to how you're logging in. Uh, stronger security methods uh, are going to be required. And so, you know, two-step authentication processes are going to be stepped up if you don't already have those. Um, how you're setting up passwords and things of that nature. If you are someone who handles uh, a leadership role as an administrator and you're in charge of things like handbooks and that sort of stuff, you are definitely going to see some changes having to be made uh, to those handbooks as far as, um, you know, requirements and things that you need to cover related to some of these changes with the law that's being implemented. So this is going to be a really big area that's impacted in 2022. 
blockchain technology is going to play a big part in this uh, whole cybersecurity and security implementation stuff for 2022. Now, I did an article a while back on blockchain. I'm linking that article down below for you so you can read all about blockchain technology and its implementation within education. Um, it is being used for everything from certification documentation to how we're going to be accessing records um, and those types of transactions as well. So uh, if that's of interest to you and exactly how blockchain is coming into play, be sure and check out that article uh, for all sorts of details and information. And finally, in the security area, we're going to see and are already seeing huge shifts toward AI powered security, um, smart cameras that are being installed in school buildings. And these cameras are allowing security to be everywhere without physically having a presence so that you're not, um, you know, making stakeholders fearful or uncomfortable within the building. So cameras can notify security of uh, weapons. They can notify of intruders and things of that nature, again, without having to have the physical presence. Now, we've already seen AI hugely incorporated and being used for quite some time now, looking at things like emails and that type of stuff to notify us of um, risk to our students. If we've got students communicating about things that, you know, could be harmful to themselves or others, there's ways that we're being notified of the system in that regard. Also for hacking and things of that nature. But again, a lot of these security measures are really going to be heightened with this new act. And so the systems and softwares that are coming into play are going to have much more stringent guides, uh, guidelines and um, AI in place so that we'll be catching a lot more of these things. So again, looking forward to a lot of security changes uh, coming down the pipeline for 2022. <music> Number five on our list is eSports. Um, this is not a personal favorite of mine. Obviously, I'm not a gamer. Um, however, it does fit in the ed tech space. eSports and that industry is projected to be um, reaching the ballpark of $1.8 in revenue by the end of 2022. So this is going to be a huge trend and we're already seeing it trending. It kind of started before the pandemic and it's really ramped up during the pandemic. Um, this is a way that students could still compete and not at all have to physically be in the same space. So obviously K-12 districts are seeing that increase in competitions and getting involved. And it isn't just gamers, though. I really, in looking more into this for this particular video and doing my research, found that it does kind of involve um, people who aren't necessarily gamers uh, and getting them involved in something to do with school that they might not have otherwise done. So... I guess don't completely disregard it. You may not be a gamer, but see that there may be potential here for students that are reaching out to make some of those connections that might otherwise be struggling to make connections um, in a school setting. So um, that being said, you've got the organizers, you've got people involved in different aspects of the contest. You also have the creators. So those that might really be into the coding and the creation and be more creative personalities. Also think about your kids that might be entrepreneurs. Uh, this is an area that I see this being of interest to some of those students. So again, you know, don't be closed-minded like I was at the beginning of this. Uh, open up the potential, look into the possibility of esports, um, and find out a little bit more about that. And it may open up your mind as to how it could be beneficial in your school or in your classroom or your educational environment. So that, my friends, concludes our top five EdTech trends, wrapping it up with eSports. And that brings us to the end of our top five EdTech trends that are going to be impacting you and that you're going to be seeing in 2022 for the year to come. That being said, I want to just remind you of our housekeeping items. 
If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure and hit that like button. Don't forget to share it so that others can enjoy in this fabulous information that we're putting together for you. Also, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell because we don't want you to miss out on any great videos that we roll out. And that being said, my friends, we'd like to say thank you again for joining us here at Educating. We hope that you continue to join us and we'll see you here for the next video. Happy teaching in 2022.